Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is my first makeup tutorial. Yay! And my name is Shaniqua Shane. I'm going to bring you this soft glam daytime look that you can wear to church, school, work, anywhere that's daytime appropriate. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette to do this makeup tutorial today. If you would like to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching. All right, so I'm going to prime my face using the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. And I really like this because it's very hydrating. And it leaves a good base for my foundation. Next, I'm going to take the EOS Lip Balm in Coconut Milk. And I'm going to place this on my um, lips just to prime my lips. This thing was hard to get open. I've been using that Too Faced Slippery. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and this is in the color dark brown. So I'm just gonna comb through my brows first. Now I'm gonna to begin to fill them in. I always start at the base when I'm doing my brows. And I kinda of just like outline them first so I can get the shape that I want. And then I start by filling in my tail and filling the front. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. Then I go and fill in the front very light-handedly. Light you don't want to put too much product on your brows because you don't want them to be strong. Okay, now I'm going to move on to a foundation and I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Amber Honey. And I'm going to apply this with um, this elf brush. I just put a little bit of the foundation on the back of my hand and I dip the brush into it and I begin to apply it to my face. Now I know this looks orange probably, but mm, it oxidizes and it kind of blends in with my skin. So I don't swipe, I just Pounce the brush on my face to get a nice even coverage. Because when you swipe the brush, you take the product away. And you make sure you blend by your jawline so you don't have a foundation line going across your face that's very unattractive. And usually you want to start from the center of the face and go out because that's where you want the most product. Okay, now that I have that in, I'm just going to take this beauty blender and just pounce it, make sure everything is nice and even and soaking into the skin. Just like that. And I forgot to put some concealer under my brows. I'm just going to clean them up a little bit, so I'm going to do that now. You just need a little bit, and I'm using my, um, my Lancome concealer in the color Dark Biscuit. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend it out. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So you just get a little bit of product and just move it back and forth until you get a straight line. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to highlight. And I'm gonna take that same Lancome concealer 
and I like to do one side at a time. So I'm gonna start off with this eye and just blend it until I get a nice even highlight and a nice color payoff with my beauty blender. Okay, and I just take the end of my beauty blender and just blend it, blend it out around the edges so that it blends into the foundation. And I do the same thing on the other side. And I kind of take my concealer up on the my nose a little bit to create a um, to make my nose look a little slimmer and to create a like almost like a false contour. Okay, now I'm going to do down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And these are all the places that I'm highlighting on my face. All right, so next we're gonna take my HD Set and Forget Setting Powder by Ruby Kiss in the color Banana and just set um, the place that I highlighted on my face. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and make sure I don't have any creasing under the eyes before I set it. And I'm just gonna use this old Soho Sonya Cash Hook powder brush to set this. And yes, this does get messy as you can see. Now I'm gonna move on to eyes. And today I'm gonna to be using the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach Palette. It smells so good. <sighs> and it's so, so pretty, beautiful colors. It's one of my favorite palettes by Too Faced. I'm gonna start off by using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyes. I'm going to take this Elf eyeshadow C brush to apply this. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this color right here, white peach, and just, um, no, I'm gonna take peaches and cream and just set my um, primer. Give me a nice, even base to work with. Okay, now I'm going to go in. <laughs> with um, Summer Yum, and I'm gonna apply this into my crease. And you just wanna go back and forth, blend it out. This is my transition color. Now I'm gonna go in with puree and put that in my uh, crease as well. Okay, now I'm gonna take the color Charmed, I'm sure, and by the way, this is the MAC 224 brush. Now I'm going to use the MAC 217 to go um, into my outer corners of my eye to add more depth. And I'm going to um, take a little bit of tempting just to darken it up a little bit.
All right, now I'm gonna take my blending brush and just make sure the colors transition nicely into each other. Okay, now I'm going to take Bellini, which is right here, and I'm going to add that on my lid. And I'm using the MAC 242 brush. These brushes have been well used and the numbers are coming off. All right, and I'm just gonna take my blending brush and go into here. Like crease to make the colors transition nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line, and I'm gonna take the Mac 219 pencil brush, and I'm gonna repeat the same pattern. Almost, I'm gonna take um, Summer Yum first, and Go along my bottom lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna take puree and put that on my bottom lash line as well. And then I'm gonna take Tempting and put that a little bit on the outer corners. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same MAC brush and I'm going to take um, Nectar and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone with it. I want to take this Wet n Wild um, blending brush just to blend it in. All right, now I'm going to um, take this Mac 239 brush and highlight my brow bone with the same color nectar. Ooh, yes, look at that shine. And then I'm going to take my MAC 224 blending brush and just blend right here. So it's a brow like the brow bone and the transition color kind of going to each other. Okay, now I think I'm going to line my eyes using this CoverGirl Extremely Gentle Eyeliner in the color brown. I like to use a brown for more of a daytime look than black because black can sometimes be a little harsh. And I'm not gonna do a wing, I'm just gonna add a base for um, my lashes. Okay, just like that. And uh, now I'm going to take my mascara. And this is the Lancome Defenestil Mascara in black. I really like this one. I'm just gonna use this to prep my lashes for my foxy. Okay, and the falsies that I'm gonna use today are the um, Kiss So Wispy. Um, I really like these. They're nice and fluffy on the eyes. Okay, and I just take my, I have this Kiss Eyelash Applicator, and I use this to take the um, lashes out of the container. Okay, and I'm using the 
I is me by Kiss Eyelash Adhesive in Black and uh, Jet Black. This one works really well. It does not come off until you take them off. And then for some reason, I don't know why, I just feel like this one works better when it comes to actually placing it on my eye. So I use that one to take out the package and I use this one to put it on. And they're both eyelash applicators, just use them to put them on your eyelashes on. But I feel like it helps and it's better than um, it's better than tweezers so you won't poke your eyes out. You want to let this kind of dry a little bit before you put on your eyes. I kind of like it to be just a little bit wet, not too dry, so that if I need to wiggle the lash around or move it to fit my eye more better, I can. Okay, so now I'm just going to place these on my eyes by so looking up. It's easier to apply them looking up so you can see how they're going to lay on your eye. And then I take the one that I took them off with and just place them where I want them. Okay, and I'm going to repeat and do the same thing on the other eye. And you'll feel the glue start to tighten on your eye when you put it on there. It ain't moving. Okay, now I'm going to take the Definacil by Lancome and just apply it to my bottom lashes. Okay, and now I'm going to move on to bronzing. So I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50 and bronze my face up with this. And I'm going to use ELF Angle Blush Brush angled blush brush to do this. And I just take the side of the brush and do the same thing to my nose. Okay. Just like that. So I do a little bronzer. And then I'm going to take my blush, and this is another Sonia Ketchup brush, and um, I'm gonna take MAC, um, gosh, I don't have this for, I think it's called Lovejoy, and it's one of their mineralized blushes. And I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and bring it a little bit. like that okay and now I'm going to highlight using the MAC mineralized skin finish and gold deposit so I'm going to use this wet n wild contour brush to do that and I put this stuff just about everywhere because I love it so much Like that. I get a little overboard with that one. Okay, and now I am going to move on to lips. And I'm going to take this um, NYX Butter Gloss in the color Strawberry Cheesecake. And my last step, I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Setting Spray and just set my face. And this is just going to lock it in and let all the powders and everything melt into each other. Okay, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I will list all of the products that I use in the description box. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.